taught by some people that our life is a remembrance process. The more our spirit starts succeeding in experiencing the existence of God, at the same time, the spiritual remembrance of that address keeps growing and a person will get more illumination in his heart. A person doesn't need to dissect it like that. This was explained. If you ride a bicycle, you don't need to dissect it and explain how your feet are moving, when you're swimming, when you're walking, when you're breathing. The same applies here. Having explained it as such does not require that every Muslim who, or every person who believes in God has to realize this point. But the belief that brings more spiritual light to the heart is actually a remembrance of that divine, beautiful speech. I have read when I was uh, in high school in one of the philosophy classes by Carl Jung, a philosopher, a very interesting sentence. <laughs> I don't have the text. Even if Carl Jung didn't say it, it is somewhat interesting that worship exists in one form or another or another in all societies and cultures across history. Worshipping a statue, worshipping another. Atheists would object to that, but we win by democracy, we are a majority. There will always be exceptions to rules. Yes, atheists are the exceptions. But the majority of mankind have, in a way or another, yearned to worship Carl Jung, if I remember well, if not, it is a fact, says this is a proof of the existence of an entity of God who put that in them. Of course, materialistic people would have a different explanation, this series of lecture is directed to the person seeking the truth. Please remember that atheists and materialistic people commit the grave, irrational fallacy of never accepting to look at the word with the potential idea, let's assume that God exists and made it. Does it fit the puzzle more or less? They will never want to do that. This is unscientific. In correct science, when you have a phenomenon or an event and you want to analyze it, you have to consider all the alternatives, no matter how probable or improbable. The one that fits and explains the facts the best will be the one to accept. One cannot prevent a witness from attending court. Okay? So, this was the uh, words that I might rem have remembered correctly from Carl Jung, but actually, the yearning to worship the owner of that sublime speech is what explains to the believers is what explains the yearning to worship and when man is left without correct guidance the object of worship will not be the correct one that's why mankind has always been in need of messengers our creator mentions to us in the Quran that no nation has passed without having sent a messenger to them 
in generalities. Each nation has received a messenger. So for the Muslim who reads this ayah, whether it is India, whether it is Japan, whether it is Kamshatka, whether it is the Eskimos, there have been messengers with a message sent to them. The atheists are called in Arabic kafir. The word kafir so nicely coincide a hundred percent with the word cover in English. The word kafir does not initially mean atheist, unbeliever. It means coverer. So people who do not believe in God by definition are people who cover. They are the ones who are covering this memory. I pray to Allah that you will not be one of them. Our attempt is not to cover by stubbornly refusing to consider the possibility that God exists. Conversely, the less we cover, the more we get purified. And the thinner the veil becomes between us and that memory. The less stubborn we become against ideas of the existence of God, the more we will be able to recollect, the more the, the illumination, the spiritual light will grow and the reinforcement will start occurring within our daily experience. There are moments in every believer's life that happen completely way above the spiritual level of the normal day when the person realizes the state of heightened state of the effect of belief like the hand on a shoulder without speech pressing you keep going you're on the right path many of the listeners would recognize that I pray our creator for me and for you more and more of these times they are at the uh, decision of God our prophet said Allah has in your ages he has instance of mercy whoever gets reached by one of those winds of mercy may will probably never be miserable again so he said to the prophet get exposed to those instants of mercy he means keep seeking to do the deeds that you read, that you heard, that you learned, that your Creator loves. Because one day you'll be touched by one of those breathings of mercy. Mentioning Allah in our hearts, just like it was uh, discussed in the introduction, worshipping God as if you see Him and if you don't see Him that He's seeing you that's called remembering Allah right? remember God this is called in Arabic zikr more frequent mentioning of God in our heart, in our daily life, also helps to purify our souls, make this veil thinner, 
that lies between us and this divine light that can reach our hearts and our souls. 